I'm going to show you how to make perfect crispy fried chicken at home. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Make your own finger licking buttermilk fried chicken at home with this recipe. I'll also show you how to join a whole chicken just like they do in that famous chicken shop. And we're going to start by preparing the chicken. Place a damp cloth underneath the chopping board to stop it from moving around and then place your chicken on the board. When I was at school and college I used to work at a fried chicken shop and that's where I learned how to properly portion up a chicken. I'm going to show you how to do that today but if you prefer you can just buy ready cut pieces of thighs, of drumsticks and of chicken breasts from the shop. First we'll remove the parson's nose which is this bit at the back of the chicken. Then starting with your knife angled horizontally just underneath the pointy end of the breast side Cut through the chicken to separate the lower half, which is the thigh and the leg area, from the upper half. As you cut through, you'll change the position of your knife to point downwards so you can cut through the backbone. Now we're going to divide that lower half up evenly by slicing it right down the middle. Using your fingers, feel for the joint between the thigh and the drumstick and carefully cut through the joint and then repeat with the other leg. Cut off the wings at a 45 degree angle to the chicken body. Be generous with the slice so you've got a little bit of meat along with the wing. Now we're left with the breast section of the chicken. You can cut this into two or three portions. In US fried chicken shops, they tend to cut it into two portions. And to do this, what they'll do is they'll remove the backbone and then they'll split the piece in half and slice it down the breastbone here. In the UK chicken shops, they cut it into three pieces and that's what I'm gonna to do today. So what I'm gonna do is what I'll start off by cutting off the keel, which is this piece here. So it's a breast piece that has the breastbone and I'm gonna slice through here to do that. Cut through the chicken at a 45 degree angle. This will give you the keel piece. Now slice the remaining rib and breast part of the chicken in half. To make the pieces even sized, one of the pieces should contain the backbone and the other piece should contain the upper part of the sternum or the breastbone. Now we've jointed the chicken and placed the pieces in a bowl and now we're going to marinate it in a mixture of buttermilk and seasoning. This is a really key step to the recipe to ensure the meat is lovely and juicy. Pour 240ml or a cup of buttermilk over the chicken. Then add half a teaspoon of salt and quarter of a teaspoon each of garlic salt and white pepper. Mix together to coat, then cover and place in the fridge to marinade for at least an hour and up to overnight. Now we're going to preheat the oven to a low heat to keep the chicken warm as we're going to be cooking it in batches. Heat your oil in a deep fat fryer or in a large pan. We're going to need at least two litres of oil so make sure your pan is large enough so the oil comes no more than halfway. In a large bowl mix together 180 grams which is about a cup and a half of plain all-purpose flour along with a teaspoon and a half of salt, one teaspoon each of pepper, dried thyme, paprika, baking powder and chilli flakes and half a teaspoon each of garlic salt and celery salt. Take the chicken out of the fridge and lift a piece from the buttermilk allowing the excess to drip off. Dredge the chicken in the crispy coating mixture ensuring it's fully covered then place on a tray and repeat until all the chicken is coated. Once all the chicken's coated and the oil's hot enough it should be about 175C or 350F then we're going to start cooking the chicken so we're going to lower in one piece of chicken at a time, making sure we have no more than two or three pieces in the pan at any one time. 
make sure you lower it in nice and slowly so that it doesn't bubble over. Cook the chicken for about seven to eight minutes until golden brown and cooked through in the middle. The internal temperature of the chicken should be 75C or 165F. Place the chicken on a tray in the oven to keep warm whilst you cook the rest of the chicken. Once cooked, remove all of the pieces of chicken from the oven and serve. And that's how to make perfect crispy fried chicken at home. Crispy coating with lovely juicy chicken. Really hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new recipes every Monday and Thursday. See you next time.